Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Travis here, about to drop the second video. And this one has a gi focus. It's a lot more simple. So I believe this one will be a real easy one for the kids or our white belts, but also something the higher belts can touch up on. Um, hope everyone's hanging in there and doing really well right now, uh, that you're following a little bit of the self-isolation. I think that's going to be important. That way we can open up way sooner, okay? Um, I miss each and every one of you. I love you guys. I'm still thinking hard about things we can do to maintain our community. Um, all the support you guys have showed means everything to me. Uh, man, you guys make it hard to stay sad. I'll tell you that. Uh, it's been really uplifting. So just a quick message uh, before we get to the techniques. And that I plan sometime this week, as soon as tomorrow, to begin small samples um, on an app, which I'll be sharing with you guys, to start running classes live. And I still plan to record several classes a week also. I'm doing everything I can, though, to get material out there. That way, we still have a gym, family, and community going on. All right, guys, I'm thinking about you. Uh, my kids and kids class, thinking about each and every one of you. I miss you guys so much. I can't wait to be back teaching. And my adults, uh, I miss you guys a ton, too. Um, I'm still your jiu-jitsu coach. That still means everything to me. So I'm doing all I can to, like I said, make sure we maintain community, okay? Hope you enjoy the videos. Let me know what you think. All right? Oh. I like our morning class. Most of these are very simple, okay? We're here, and I'm gonna come in, and now I'm gonna come up and around. There's a lot of ways you can set that up, okay? Uh, but now instead of just shooting the double, I'm here, I'm breaking, I'm body locking, and I'm gonna try to come out the back, okay? Sometimes here, what you'll have people do, let's say I'm trying to get a hook in or something, just to so grab my pants and block me here, something like that, and it stops me from getting the hook in. So all I'm going to do, put my leg out, and I'm gonna to collapse to my hip, pull him up and over, okay? So I'm gonna show this just from the takedown part, we'll face this way. I'm here, okay, getting a body lock, my leg comes straight, I fall to my hip, and I turn in. Nice and easy, okay? Trying to solidify the position so we can pass the guard. Or what happens here sometimes, if you're here, you hit this trip, move, you go, the person will start to turtle. It's a perfect time to start getting these controls on the lapel, okay? I grab there for like a choke, set up our back tape, a lot of cool stuff can happen. All right, nice and easy, let's try. Ready, one. Stand back up with it, stand up, John, stand up. Good, take us back. Step that, step that right hook in, Travis. You can go for that right hook. There you go. Hooks, hooks. Tap. I'm going to show you guys one I like to do, one we can all train together, even in our time off, and get better at jiu-jitsu, okay? So, one thing, and I have my full guard here, nice and tight, ankles are crossed. All I'm going to do is reach in and get a cross-collar grip, okay? One way I like to do this, I'll open the collar and shoot this cross-collar grip, okay? And what I'm going to try to do is break his posture using this grip, all right? At the same time, with my other hand, I'm going to look for the cloth, the material here, not inside his lapel yet or anything like that. I'm going to grab the material here, and I'm going to grab, all right? Now, instead of going really wide elbow, I like to grab here a row like I'm doing a, a machine at the gym, okay? Nice and tight. At the same time, I'm pulling his head to the mat. I'm doing a slight sit-up of my own here, okay? Creates a very tight blood choke, okay? So open, punch. When I punch, palm is up. I want my wrist, my thumb to be across his artery here. The further back I can punch, the better. We're here and we're here, okay? Grabbing the cloth, remember that. If you can't find cloth on your partner, their gi is uh, too little, okay? We're here, pinch, pull. All right, nice and easy, let's try. Ready, one, two, three.
everything needs to be working. I'll do some different angles. I'll start here and I'll move around. But I'm gonna achieve my cross collar grip here, okay? And at the same time, I'm gonna grab on the sleeve just like we just did for that takedown. Fingers in, okay? And I'm gonna pull across the body nice and tight, okay? Bring the foot in, come over. But now, instead of just going to arm lock, I'm gonna keep this arm in the cross collar choke position, bring the leg out. And I'm gonna bring my thigh across the neck. This creates a nice choke. And if the choke isn't working, I can always come out and switch to an arm lock, okay? Push down on the head here, push down here, pinch our knees tight together, okay? The thigh is what would be blocking the artery there. And if we do hit the arm bar, hand here, hand here, and I just pull it across the hip. I shouldn't really have to lift my hips up super high if I'm pulling this across the hip like I should be, okay? So we're here. Punch, pull, pull, okay? Foot in the hip, pivot, all right? Leg comes over, I'm gonna use this as a choke. Okay, so even without the arm, you guys see how I kind of punch the wrist here as I curl down, that's a choke. All right, if that's not working, here, here, there. Okay, if you cross your feet, I always try to make sure this is the one that's underneath so I still have pressure on the head. Okay, if we're like this, that'll take almost all the pressure off and we'll get stacked. All right, one, two, pivot, pivot, Try it out. Ready? One, two, three. Our, our, our securing our arms together. So I will show this because it's helped um, some, some of our kids out significantly. We get here and here, and let's say he sees this coming, and even with this, he starts to go to that position, our hands together, whatever the case may be, okay? So I throw this over, and now his arm is protected here, okay? A lot of times from here, we run the risk of them stacking us or doing something else. So what I wanna do immediately from here, my feet are going to shift towards the head. That alone is gonna add significant pressure. My arm here, we have a few options, what to do with the legs. What I find works best for me is I just kind of pivot under the body and come over, okay? Grabbing the knee or blocking the hip and pushing under, so come back. Boom, we're here. And instead of just laying here and trying to push straight down, I'm gonna choose to push my legs out here, okay? We can even lift the leg up here if you want to, okay? Or pull the leg up, but when I do this, I come under and force them down to the mat, okay? At this point, we have several ways to break the grip here, all right? All I'm gonna do is one um, super easy one for the sake of keeping the instruction a little bit shorter here, okay? If someone's grabbing like this, I always try, bring the foot in, push, pull the arm back, okay? Nice and easy, so it's here, boom, load, kick, Cool, you can always try that. It's one of your first options. Again, if we're gonna cross, make sure the one on the head is the one on bottom. So we go wide leg here if you want to. You don't have to pinch super tight, okay? Or you can still get across just like this. Oh, I'm gonna do that, right? That's what I show you guys. If they step you, you gotta change your foot orientation. You can't just do this. So a lot of people get here, they, they cover. You can't just try to stack them down like this. You see, he's gonna start stacking me, okay? That's not good. Switch your feet towards the wall. That alone almost knocks them over. You guys see that? Sometimes we'll be able to just lift this foot and this leg and help sweep them, okay? But sometimes what's gonna help is I'm gonna come all the way under and do that. Now he's over, we're here, okay? You can even use your arm. Okay, a little bit different. Try it out, see what you guys think. Ready, one, two, three. it was in here or if I was at some open mat, but it doesn't really matter. This isn't really a choke you should tap to, but you can get people to tap to make them very uncomfortable. I used to do this a lot when I was a white belt, and I don't think I've done it since, but I, I used to show this all the time when I, when I was a lower belt. Um, just something cool to know. So, and this is legal also, by the way, so it's not something illegal to do. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reach in, and I'm gonna control the head here, okay? You can sometimes control the collar here if you want, but I'm gonna grab the head. What I'm gonna do, uh, is I use, I've always learned it as a fist choke. Some of you guys learn other things, but I'm, I'm gonna make a fist with my hand, just like this, like a paw. What I'm gonna do is find inside his neck, just like so, and I'm gonna push, okay? And generate a tap there. The trick is though, I'm not actually choking him unconscious. This is all pain driven. It feels like you're choking, but literally I'm just kind of punching his neck and his arteries here, okay? But I have nothing blocking this side, all right, when we do this. You can do this from mount also. You'll see a lot of people do this from mount. I'm showing it from here. I'm gonna grab, get the knuckles bladed, okay? We're gonna punch right into the neck. We're just gonna drive through, okay? Nice and easy. 
even more effective from mount if you do it, but this is one I used to do in guard all the time. And when I was a white belt, I, I was young, uh, I was a lot stronger than I am now, and I was able to just physically beat other white belts doing this, so just drive my fist into their neck, uh, fist choke, all right? We're here, boom, pop, there it is, okay? As long as you're not grabbing someone's throat, you're allowed to use the knuckles, and you just punch through. Um, it's an old school one. Again, it's not the best technique, but it does work sometimes, so it's worth knowing, okay? And if this does happen to you, don't you dare tap out, all right? So you're here, boom, someone's punching like this. Guys, you don't tap out to that. You're not, you're not getting choked, okay? So don't be a pansy, all right? Let's partner up and let's do it. Ready? One, two, three. one we're here okay and I'm gonna show two separate techniques don't worry this one's very simple I'm gonna do the same cross collar grip but now sometimes it's hard to reach up and over or sometimes maybe their gi is too small and I can't grab the material here almost always though you can come in and you punch in here both our palms are up elbows are tight to our body and that one's usually a lot tighter I want to make sure I punch all the way in and I pull okay one two pull Super effective, one of, one of my favorite techniques, okay? The next one is one that in the gi, I, I've gotten more submissions doing this than any other submission, um, especially at the lower belt. I go here, and I'm always, and I still do this all the time, I mainly sweep with it, but we're gonna do it as a submission today. I'm here, and I'll elevate the elbow. What I'm really looking for him to do is pull his head down in some capacity, okay? Uh, it's hard to hit this one from up here, but the second I see him start putting his head down, I'm gonna come up and over and thread through, okay? And all I do, I always say like a steering wheel seems to make the most sense. I'm gonna steer the wheel just like that. If I need to, I'll grab the cloth here and I'll steer. Worst case scenario, I pull the head down and steer. This is gonna be a, a, a wind choke right across the throat, okay? choking the airway. So we're here, here, and as soon as I see his head drop, I'm here. Okay, if I can thread in my own wrist, I'll do that and I'll steer. If I can't, I'll grab my cloth here. Worst case scenario, I push the head here. Okay, one, two, three, steering wheel. Now, if he, a lot of people to defend this will let me mount this so they'll go, and I'll be here. I'll just go to something else typically. So it's hard to finish this because of the adjustment you can. I would just drop my head to the mat and pull. But a lot of times, I'm just happy to take the mount. That'd be a six-point play. That's good for us. Okay? Try it. Ready? One, two, three. Pass, victim. Flatten them out. Let's go. Pressure, buddy. Let's go. What's the passing game? We just went over. Watch a loop, Joe. Chris. Pull his arm off. All right, guys. Well, that's the second video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, a lot more coming soon. So you can either reach out to me, you guys know my phone number, or www.johnsgymtemple.com. That also has my personal info if you need me. Email, text, comment on the videos, social media, Travis Moore BJJ or John's Gym Temple. That's uh, Facebook, Instagram. However you guys want to get a hold of me, I'm here. I'm ready to talk, uh, add techniques, help you out with your game, improve your game. As updates come in, I will keep letting you guys know, okay? Thank you so much, everyone. To the continued support means so much to me and my family. I truly can say I love you guys, and we're going to get past this virus, and we're going to achieve great things still in 2020. I believe that. All right? Talk to you guys later. Oh.